gonna start with a five minute dynamic warm up. Jess is gonna run me through that warm up and we're gonna go through the first day's exercises. So, Jess. You ready, Hank? Yes. All right, we're gonna start with jumping jacks for 30 seconds. You guys ready at home? In three, two, one. 30 seconds here. One, all right. We're gonna do a side lunge with a reach. So, we're gonna bring those feet out nice and wide here. We're gonna push those hips all the way back as we reach laterally on the outside of that foot. Back through the center and back up. You're gonna feel a nice stretch through that adductor, inner part of your leg. Two, one. We're gonna bring those legs back together. We're gonna go right into an inchworm. So we're gonna roll down through the spine, walk those hands all the way out into a high plank, pause for a second, and then walk it back in. Bend those knees, roll up, and reach up. Can an alternative be with a push-up? Yeah, sure, we can add a push-up. Make a little bit harder. Warm up those shoulders a little bit more. Reach up, back down, walk it out. I'm gonna add 10 more seconds here. Nice job. All right, next one, we're gonna drop down into a high plank here. Hands are just underneath those shoulders, and then we're gonna do some hip openers. So we're gonna step outside those hands. You could stay here, or if you feel super flexible, you're gonna tap that elbow down onto the floor and then bring that foot back and switch. Tap that elbow down, switch. Back in, and then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna go right through it one more round through to complete a five minute warm up. And there you have it. All right, we're gonna show you how to do a skater lunge. All right, so I'm gonna give you two versions. The first version is without any impact. So you're gonna step back with one leg, cross back and lunge. Chest is lifted. You're gonna sit into that glute and then take a step out and go to the opposite side. Lunge back, so step and lunge. Okay, so you could stay here or if you wanna take the challenge, you're gonna speed it up. You're gonna jump and then cross back. So you're gonna speed it up you're gonna add a plyo here, right? So some plyometrics that includes power through the legs, keeping that core strong the whole time. Give me three more, Hank. Three, two, one. Shake those legs out. Nice those, are up, those are up there with burpees for me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so the next move here is called a Russian twist. This is gonna work your obliques, all right? And your obliques actually start in the front and they actually wrap around towards your back. So. We're gonna plant our feet on the floor. This is level one, right? We're gonna lower our back, keeping our spine nice and long. You're gonna pull that belly button in and you're gonna bring those arms out in front of you. You're gonna rotate, tap the floor and bring it back through the center. And so I'm focusing on just rotating my upper part of my torso, not my lower back, right? So rotating that top part of my torso, keeping some length into the spine, right? I'm not hunching, I'm keeping some length here. Am I okay. Nope, you're good. All right. Next one, next challenge, is lifting those feet up off the floor, right? This creates a little bit of a more unstable surface. So you're gonna activate all those stability muscles here too. Same thing, focusing on rotating that part, top part of your torso and not your lower back. Keeping length in that spine. Give me two more, two, one, and release, okay? All right, next exercise is gonna be a plank. So we're gonna demonstrate two different versions, a high plank and a low plank. So I'm gonna have Hank get into a low plank because it's a little bit harder, right? You like to see your coach sweat a little bit. So he's gonna um, focus on lining up those shoulders with his elbows. He's gonna lengthen through the top of his head. He's keeping his head lifted, right? So his neck is in line with his spine, right? He's not drooping through the hips. So he's keeping those hips lifted, pulling in through the core, and he's not avoiding, he's avoiding keeping those hips up and he's extending through the legs, through those heels, right? So his legs are working here too. So everything in a plank I'm shaking quite a bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So that's a low plank. And then what I'm gonna show you guys is I'm gonna um, come into a high plank, same form that Hank was in. Okay, I'm gonna extend through the back of my heels, lift my head up so that my head, neck is in line with my spine. And I'm just extending everything out. I'm pulling in through the belly button and breathing in through the nose. And if you need a little help with this, you could Move your feet apart, your finger point, fingers are pointing forward and not out to the side. You could also, I believe, separate them if you want a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more help with your shoulders. You should feel this where? Core, 
your whole core, so your whole abdominal muscle, your shoulders, your legs are gonna take on some of that weight. And if you want a little bit more of a challenging plank, all you gotta do is lift one leg, but make sure you really keep everything nice and strong here, okay? You can alternate if you want. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> no, I'm shaking. <laughs> when you're done with your workout, it's always good to do some stretching. If you noticed in the beginning of the workout, we did some dynamic movements to warm up. End of workout, we could do some stretching. We're gonna do some of my favorite stretches. One of them's gonna look familiar because it's also part of the warm up. Because you're gonna get down on your knees, you get into a Spider Man. All right, from here, I like to do two things take your right hand, grab the right foot, left arm in the air, you can do that four or five times. And you can put the left arm down, right arm in the air. Okay. Also from the same position, I like doing some trunk twists. Now again, probably a better one to do would be arm reaches. It's a little less on your lower back, but a nonetheless a good stretch. From here, again, put your left arm down, right hand on your leg, push that knee out a little bit, feel that in your hip flexor, feels really nice. And then you can lean back into a hamstring stretch. Maybe grab your toe, point the toe, pull it towards you, sit back. Maybe get your butt up a little bit, head, chest towards the knee. Okay, so you feel it right in the back of your hamstring. Now you can do this on both sides, which will take you about you know, three or four minutes. The last one I like doing, which is a little bit more advanced. You gotta be careful because you don't want to feel this in your knee. You want to feel this more in your hips. Push-up position, leg underneath, and just relax. You should feel this here. You should not feel it in your knee. If you feel it in your knee, take your opposite hip and roll towards. We're not actually your, your, your hip and roll towards the floor. And if you could even get a little lower, head, head down, arms out. The last one I'm gonna show you, if you could get to a wall in your house, it's great for your shoulders. Stretching them out a little bit more by dynamic movement than a stretch, but nonetheless really good. Get your arms out, reach them up, come on back down. Okay, wall slides. Really good, again, if you're having a little hard time with your hands on the wall, probably you need to lo uh, loosen up those shoulders. If nothing else, try and hold as best you can, or maybe it's hold and a reach. Either way, just trying to get those shoulders back and stretching out those muscles a little bit in the front upper pecs and in your back, which I believe are your scaps and your lats, and just a little bit of stretching at the end of your workout.